Hey guys, welcome back to the Ark and today I'll be doing an AR Boreal Tranchlet enclosure. So for this you're going to want a tank. I'm using this tank I got from Wilkinson. It costs £5.99, which is much more cheaper than the Exeter Tower brand. I'm also using this Heritage Plant Food. This costs £4.99 from Asda. Don't use the liquid sort as it can be fitted to your tranchula. I'm also using fish gravel, which is for some decoration. Um, I'm also using live sphagnum moss to keep the enclosure humid as I am keeping the avicularia species in there. You'll also need some kind of tape. I'm using this see-through um, packaging tape. You'll also need a ruler. I'm using this 30cm folding one. You also need a marker, a pair of scissors, some sort of card, that's what I'll be using today. Um, ornaments, that's optional. A pocket knife or some sort of knife, that's also optional. Um, you know, I'll be also um, using this hide I constructed. I also have another video on this, so uh, the link will be in the description on how to make it. I'll also be using this plant. I've got this from Wilkinson. It is uh, named as the foliage plant, but its, uh, its real name is the Arieca palm. It's the 9 centimeter plant and it costs £2.48. That's the label it comes with. Right, so that's the plant. Also, I may be using this court, piece of cork bark. I will be using this uh, ceramic water dish. This is made by Exoterra. Um, and the substrate I'll be using is um, coconut fibre. So uh, that's all the items you're going to need to make this enclosure. For this stage, you want to have the actual tank on its side as this little borrow cage, the ruler, the uh, card, marker. Um, I'll be using this pocket knife, but it's optional. Cellar tape and scissors. So first of all, you want to just measure the uh, width of the tank. So I'll do that right now. Um, this is around eight inches. So uh, what I'm going to do is measure that on here. So once I've done that, I'm now going to measure how high I want the barrier to be. So for this, I will probably do around 3 inches. Just have a look. So yeah, around 3 inches looks good to me. So I'm going to go up 3 inches. And then I'm going to collect, con connect the lines. And this is the barrier you'll be cutting out so that you, your substrate won't fall out of the enclosure. So now I'm just going to cut along my line I've created. So it may be quite difficult to cut this but if, if so, I'll be using my uh, pocket knife, so I'll come back when that's done. Okay, so uh, because my enclosure's corners are rounded, I'm going to round off the bottom corner so that the lid will be able to close. So I can basically just make the set this to one side and get my packaging tape and because this enclosure is going to be quite humid and wet I'm just going to place tape over this cardboard so it won't become soft like that. And then, so I'll come back when the cardboard is all taped Okay, so for this step you want to get the barrier and put it on the actual enclosure. So this is all laminated now. So you can get the um, cardboard with the laminated side fa uh, facing in towards inside of the tank and um, get your tape. 
So once you know that it's resting there, you're going to just get the tape and place it like that on the cardboard. And then, and then on the actual tank, you want to work out where you're going to place it and then fold the tape inwards so that it's resting against the outside of the actual tank. And then the edges, pinch them together and you want to just snip them off. As you can see, we've got edges, so we can snip them off and try to make a tight seal. Right, so that's the barrier. I'm going to put tape on this side and this side and I'll come back for the next step. Okay, so uh, now the crater for the soil is going to go is created and should work perfectly fine. So now we're going to head over and uh, place my substrate inside. Alright, so now I'm going to fill my uh, enclosure with my substrate. I'm just using this plant pot for convenience. So just pour it into the crater. I advise do this outside as it can get quite messy. I've also mixed in a little bit of perlite just to retain moisture and humidity in the enclosure. So now that's done, I'm just gonna all this soil to make it even. Now I'm going to put the uh, inside decor, so I'm going to start with the hide. So yet again, there's a link in the description on how to make this. So what I'm going to do is basically put it up against here and I'll find a place for it to stay and I'll come back when it's done. So now the hide is in place, I'm going to be putting the foliage plant in and um, and in closer inspection it looks to be loads of different separate plants so I've separated quite a few of them and I'm going to plant them separately at the back of the um, height as you can see they're all separate I'm trying to break any roots as it may kill the plant and I'll be also using um, <clears throat> this pen to make holes and at the bottom of here is um, the fertiliser so I'll start right in the corner Turn the cover around so I can see Hold in And then just give me some paint So it's gonna Dig out some more gold Right And then pour some fertiliser into it so this fertilizer lasts up to six months, so I think by then I may actually replace the plant as it might get too big for the enclosure. So once I've placed the fertilizer in, I'm gonna get I'm gonna find one healthy stalk. So that looks that's good. And then to uh, spin the plant, cut the roots and find their way into the bottom. And then poke it in. And once it's done, cover the plant with the substrate. So, this is what it should look like. You can see, and I'm going to make the back wall with this plant, so I'll come back when it's done. Okay, so now all the plants have been placed at the back, and this is what it looks like. So it looks quite attractive. And uh, now to finish this plant section off, I'm just going to add some fish gravel. So uh, I'm going to get the gravel, and I think I'll just basically just scatter it around the plant. So this is just for well this is just to keep more humidity in the plants and substrate over the plants and this is just for aesthetic looks. 
I think they'll look nice in the tank. To that I'm also going to add some sphagnum moss so here's the top and um, I'm just going to basically just tear some like that and then place that over so it makes it look a bit prehistoric a real rainforest look so. this will also keep humidity in the cage so it would be perfect for the auricularia genus which is what I'm going to put into this I'll also have pictures at the end of the video. So um, now I have the cork block. I'm not sure I'm going to place this, but I'd probably do it on the floor. Maybe I'm not sure. Have a look. I'm just going to fiddle around with this and I will come back when it's done. Okay, so now the cork's in place and I've placed a, I've placed a bit of gravel at the bottom. Um, so now I'm just going to place in the uh, water dish. Just put that in there. Like that. And last of all, I'll put the uh, plastic frog. And we'll put him just there. So that's uh, my rainforest. Um, enclosure for my wicked area and uh, hope you liked it and this is just a 360 view of the enclosure and there'll also be some pictures at the end and um, I'll just show you with the lid on So that is on it. There. So that is the enclosure. If you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, stay tuned for more.